Shalom. Kal halal Yahweh ba Hashem Yahweh Shai ba Hashem Rakhakodash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone, and all the apostles and the elders who rule well. Right. Salutations unto the brothers, the Akiam pushing this truth across the four corners of the earth in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so now more so than ever. To the speck, the scattered, the speckled Buddha Israel's Israelites, I say shalom, and I say shalom unto the few and faithful Akwat listening and leaning in. This is your brother Yerushalam from the GMS Prophetic Vibrations Camp here in Trinidad and Tobago coming at you with another video. Alright? This is just a, should be a shorter video, right? It's a short video, um, basically, um, we're going to go through just the, the tabernacle of David being restored, you know, because the tabernacle of David really is the elect of the nation of Israel, right? You know, and the Lord said, Lord said Israel is a special people unto him, all right? So that's why, you know, hey, at the end of the day, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, he only came for Israel, right? He came, Yahweh Shai came basically for, um, to, to save Israel alone. Right, not the other nations, right? So let's go through Deuteronomy 7 and 6, the first precept. Alright? It says Deuteronomy 7 and 6. And it reads, For thou art an holy people unto Yahweh thy power. Yahweh thy power hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So you see, so you see, Lord meant to have us on a head on top of all people on the face of the earth. Right, and even if you go back to Deuteronomy 1 and 1, you'll see, you know, the Lord said, um, These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel on this side Jordan, in the wilderness, in the plain over against the Red Sea, between Paran and Tophel, and Laban, and Hazaroth, and the Zahab. Right, so, so he spoke to all Israel, right? You know, we go again to Deuteronomy 28, right? And the Lord basically is, talk, is talking about, you know, and it shall come to pass, in verse 1, and it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of Yahweh thy power to observe and to do all his commandments which I command thee. And you know who he gave the commandments to? Israel. Alright? That the Lord thy power, Yahweh thy power, will set thee on high above all nations right, of the earth. Alright? So that's the promise that we have. That's the promise that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh recently gave us, you know. So um, it's not by chance. It's not by chance, um, you know, that the Lord, you know, he came back for Israel alone, right? And also, let's go to the book of Psalms. Um, Psalms 147, verse 19, right? He showed his word unto Jacob, right? And, you know, and we know Jacob is Israel, right? The twelve tribes came out of Jacob. Jacob was renamed Israel by Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, right? His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He had not dealt so with any nation, and as for his judgments, they are not known. They are, they have not known them, right? So the heathen don't know the judgments of the Lord. I don't need Israel could judge, right? And that that's evident, you know. When Paul went went to the um the the, the Gentiles, those Gentiles were Israelite foreigners, all right, who were scattered, all right, to the four corners of the earth, you know, um, following the ways of the heathen, you know, worshiping their gods, eating eating unclean foods and whatnot. You know, keeping themselves uncircumcised, all right? So that's what they were talking about there. So, you know, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, when Yahweh Shai came, he came, you know, only for the lack, you know, not for the whole world. Let's go, to, let's go to another scripture in the book of John. Book of John, chapter 17, and verse 6. Yeah, you know, John 17 and 6, you know, say, you know, Lord, this is the Lord speaking. You see the red writing. I have manifested my name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world, you know. Thine they were, and thou gavest me them, gavest them me, so like, yeah, and they have kept my word, right? So this is, I mean, we talk about the men of the Lord here. We talk about the elect here, right? The ones who kept this word will be the elect. Now, they have known all the known that all things what whatsoever thou hast given me are of thee. For for I have given unto them the words which thou gavest me, and they have received them and have surely and have known surely that I came out from thee, and they have believed that thou didst send me. Alright, so stop what elect here, right? I verse nine said, I pray for them, I pray not for the world. 
All right, and let's go into that wood wool. All right, pray not for the wool. All right, now they're saying the wool is going to cosmos. All right, any wool of the universe, right? You know, but it, it could also mean an orderly arrangement of people. But you know, the the Lord too also told the elect the elect of the nation of Israel. You know, basically, with the one third that they talk about is talk spoken about in the Book of Zechariah. You know, chapter thirteen, all right, which is which is only only one third. You know, the whole nation of Israel is elect, but the the elect of the elect of elect is a tower of the flock, right? That's the heads of the nation of Israel, like the hundred forty four thousand. You know, men on the head of his heads of Israel, that's the one third. You know, they they are the tower of the flock, right? So it's, it's, you know, he's talking about them here, all right? The tabernacle of David, okay. So keep, okay. So where was I now? Verse eleven. All right, and now I am, and now, hold one second there, just bear with me a second here. Right, here, yeah, verse 9, I pray for them, I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me, and they are thine, and all, all mine are thine, and thine are mine, and I am glorified in them. All right, so the Lord didn't pray for the whole world, he prayed for the elect. For the you know the tabernacle of David, all right. And let's go to that scripture in Zechariah 13. You know, this is the book of Zechariah, chapter 13, and we start at verse 8. All right, all right, this is Zechariah 13 and 8, and it reads, And it shall come to pass that in all the land, say at Yahweh, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, and right? so it's two parts of the nation of Israel, all right? But the third shall be left therein which is the elect right and i will bring the third part which is the elect through the fire and i will refine them as silver is refined and will try them as gold is tried right they shall call on my name and i will hear them i will say it is my people and they shall say your is my power all right so you know so clearly you know that's what that's the ones who you wish i was speaking about there you know the ones we prayed for all right because you know you're going to pass through the fire just as he went through the fire all right you know as the scripture, as the scripture said, you know, he said that, you know, he had, when he was telling the, the apostles, you know, he has meat, he has meat, you know, that they no, they don't know about, you know, and this meat he was talking about here was, you know, literal meat, you know, although they didn't understand at any time, right? The meat he was talking about there was, you know, actually the things he had to go through, right? As in the book of John, chapter four, verse three, right? You know, the the meat is meat is do the will of him that sent him, you know, which is um. Which is going into um, basically the persecutions that he had to endure, you know, for us to do the will of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. All right, you know. So, you know, let, um, let's go to the let's go to the Apocrypha now, in the book of Second Ezra. Uh, let's go Second Ezra two, and verse twenty six. All right, here we here again. You know, we talk about the serpents. You know, which which um will give on right. Um, Second Ezra two and twenty six. And it reads, as for the servants with whom I have given thee, there shall not one of them perish, for I will require them from, from among thy number. Right? Be not weary. So you know no no one none of the elect gonna perish, like that, you know. None gonna be lost, right? Be not weary, for when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh, right? So that that is talking about the day of the Lord. Alright? Talking about this this um the, the, the day of temptation. The temptation is gonna come upon the whole world shortly. Right, with the vaccinations and the microchips, all right? You know the microchip, which is the mark of the beast, according to Revelation 13 and 16, all right? So, you know that they, they, they that that's talking about this here, all right? Be not weary for when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh, others shall weep and be sorrowful, all right? So others will cry and be sorrowful, but thou shalt be merry and have abundance. So the Lord will take care of his elect. The heathen shall envy thee, but they shall be able to do nothing against thee, saith the hour. My hand shall cover thee. So that thy children shall not see hell. So the Lord is gonna take care of his elect. He's gonna take care of the tabernacle of David, right? But he, after all, he's the one who restored the tabernacle of David. Alright, so he's not gonna leave us, you know, undone. Alright? So um so you know that that's that's um that's encouragement. Uh, verse 2, they said, Be joyful, O thou mother, with thy children, for I will deliver you say at your house. So the Lord will deliver you and the mother with children, alright, the pregnant mothers, alright? He's gonna he, he gonna he gonna take care of us. He's gonna give us food to eat. Any famine, you know, he's gonna protect us from the from the you know basically from the winds. You know, even the destroying winds that are gonna come upon this place, right? 
the, 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 you know, the different funnels, you know, that we, in the book of Jeremiah, you know, that we talk about, right? He gonna, he gonna do the, the, that protection against us, you know, that protection of, um, that's keeping us from destruction, you know, so, you know, the, and, um, yeah, so we just have to have faith in him. With our faith, you know, especially in this time now, it's an exciting time to be living in, you know. All the prophets wish to see this time, right? You know, uh, but now we've seen this time and we give praise and thanks for that. All right, so, you know, we we, we seen, we actually have seen the evidence then of, of what they would have prophesied, right? Coming to pass. All right. So, um, let's go to the book of, um, let's go to the book of Amos. Amos chapter 9. I'll start from verse 8. Uh, this book of Amos chapter 9 and verse 8 and it reads, Behold, the eyes of your power are upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith your house, saith the Lord. Right, so the Lord not going to destroy fully the house of Jacob, because that one third, that tabernacle of David, right, is, um, have to be saved. Alright, verse 9, For lo, I will command and I will sift the house of Israel from among all nations, like as corn is sifted in the sieve, yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. So the Lord gonna sift, you know, among nations. And it's just proof that you know we scattered among all nations, right? You know, you know, and that's that's that was another prophecy of Deuteronomy twenty eight and in verse sixty four. Right, this is Deuteronomy twenty eight and sixty four. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from one end of the earth, even unto the other, and there thou shalt serve other gods which neither thou nor our fathers have known, right? You know, also we can go to the book of Isaiah 11 and 11, right? And it's going to tell you that, you know, and it shall come to pass in that day, the Lord shall set his hand again the second time to recover the remnant of his people, which shall be left from Assyria and from Egypt, right? Assyria and Egypt, and from Patros and from Cush and from Elam and from Shinar and from Hamath, from the islands of the sea so you see clearly here that he, he, we, we scattered right so the lord gonna take us from all these places and gather us together right and he shall set up an ensign for the nations and shall assemble the outcasts of israel all right all the different tribes right all 12 tribes and gather together the dispersed of judah from the four corners of the earth so we all over the place we all over in every nation among every people all right so so you know this is what gonna happen you know and and this scripture that goes down into it but let me go back to let's go back to um book of amos first and then we come back here right amos um nine and eight right all right for you right so the lord say will sift the house of israel right all the sinners of my people all right shall die shall die by the sword which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us as verse 10 right verse 11 said in that day will i raise up the tabernacle of david which is fallen and close up the breaches thereof and i will raise up his ruins and i will build it as in the days of old that they may possess the remnant of edom and of all the heathen that are called by my name and all and all the heathen which which are called by my name see at yahweh see at the lord that do at this right so that's what the Lord gonna do. He's gonna he gonna deal with he's gonna deal with it, you know. He's gonna deal with us, he's gonna raise up the top like of David, which is he doing right now. You know, when we preaching this word across the across the um the unicorn, right? The internet, right? You know, the, the internet, you know, that the internet going into um of course, you know, you know, internet internet actually was an important part of it, you know, the internet servers, unicorn the servers, which is the satellites, right? Broadcast this 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 doctrine, broadcast this um this gospel across the four corners of the earth, right? To wake up all the brothers and sisters, right? The tabernacle of David. Alright, so the elect. So all praises to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, holy name. Alright. Um, um, so um, let's go to let's go to the book of um where were we before? Let's go to Isaiah. Book of Isaiah 11 and 11. We'll continue below here. And, it's Isaiah 11 and 13. Alright. The envy also of Ephraim shall depart, and the adversaries of Judah shall be cut off. Ephraim shall not envy Judah, and Judah shall not vex Ephraim. Alright. But they shall fly upon the shoulders of the Philistines toward the west. They shall spoil them of the east together. They shall lay their hand upon Edom and Moab, and the children of Ammon shall obey them. And Lord, you know, 
Lord said, tell us in Zephaniah 2 and 1 to gather ourselves together, our nation not desired, right? Because we weren't desired by all these people. They persecuted us. They did us wickedness, right? So now is when you write down, you know that they, they, get, they get destruction and persecution, all right? And that's exactly what's going to happen, all right? And that's exactly what's going to happen, you know? Now let's, let's, um, let's go to the book of Jeremiah, you know, because we're going we're gonna to go through the destruction. It's a brief a brief overview of the destruction the book of jeremiah chapter 51 51 verse 1 this is jeremiah 51 and 1 and it reads thus saith the lord behold i will raise up against babylon and against them that dwell in the midst of them babylon of course represents america which has got babylon the great according to prophecy all right so against babylon and against them that dwell in the midst of them that rise up against me destroying wind and that's talking about the ICBM missile blast, right? I will send unto Babylon fanners that shall fan her and shall empty her land. For in the day of trouble they shall be against her round about. So all the nations are going to fire those missiles too, right? Against him that bendeth, bendeth let the archer bend his bow. And against him that lifted up himself up in his brigadine, right? You know? And, you know, that, you know that, that's just Esau, you know, his brigadine, Tom, all the weapons of war, you know, his, his planes, his tanks, his, all the different weaponry, technology, right, that they have, right? And spare ye not her young men, all right? Destroy ye utterly all the hosts. So they're going to destroy Babylon, these fanners, right? You know, and you also see that in the book of um, Isaiah, chapter 54, and verse i believe it's 16 all right all right as i say 54 and 16 behold i have created a smith that blew at the coals in the fire so your marshal your shy is one who created these scientists who created these icbm intercontinental ballistic missiles all right so your lord say i've created a smith that blew at the coals in the fire and i bring it forth an instrument for his work which is the missiles right and i've created the waster to destroy it as the waster is these missiles right and that's and that's what the Lord had did and done and all praises to his holy name. All praises to his holy name. So the Lord gonna destroy our enemies, right? And we had to give thanks, and that's how he's gonna bring forth the, you know, fully the tabernacle of David, right? And the, and the new Jerusalem, which is the elect of the nation of Israel. Alright? When we look when we go to the book of go back to the book of Jeremiah um fifty and four. The Lord gonna the Lord's gonna do this, right? Because um you know, in, in those days and in that time say the Lord ch the children, this is Jeremiah fifty and four Salak in the, in those days and in that time say the Lord, the children of Israel shall come, they and the children of Judah together going and weeping. They shall go and seek your, the Lord Yahweh thy power, they shall ask the way to Zion with their faces to the word, saying, Come and let us join ourselves to the Lord Yahweh in a perpetual covenant that shall not be forgotten. And, you know, that's we when we get those those celestial bodies, you know. We you know the laws, the laws and the covenant gonna be written in our mind, which is a new covenant. Right? So we're no longer gonna be going off. We're no longer gonna be sinning. Alright, but we'll be righteous and everything. You know, we'll be a nation of priests, right? And prophets and priests, right? Alright? So that's per the perpetual covenant that shall not be forgotten. My people had been lost sheep. Their shepherds have caused them to go astray. They have turned them away on the mountains. They have gone from mountain to hill. They have quite forgotten their resting place. Yeah, because these shepherds, you know, these shepherds, they weren't real, real shepherds. They were hirelings, you know. They, they, they left the sheep astray. They left the sheep alone, right? I right? didn't take care of a, real, a proper shepherd. Now will take care of a sheep. Right, you protect a sheep from the wolves, the ravening wolves. Right, you protect a sheep, you know, from going astray and from losing. If you, if one sheep go astray, you go after them. Right, verse seven say, all that found them have devoured him them, and the adversary said, we offend not, because they have sinned against Yahweh, the habitation of justice, even Yahweh, the hope of their fathers. Right, because we went off. Right, we move out of the midst of Babylon and go forth out of the land of the Chaldeans and be as the he goes before the flock. Right? For lo, I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon an assembly of great nations from the north country, and they shall set themselves in array against her. From then she shall be taken. Their arrows, which is the ICBM missiles, shall be as of a mighty ex mighty expert man. None shall return in vain. So every missile that they fire, you know, all all two hundred million of them gonna hit their mark. 
and destroy America, right? Alright, so the whole praise is our Bashem Yah Shai for that. Alright, and you know, the Lord the Lord prophesied this from early on, you know that you know we're gonna take the kingdom, gonna that we, we, we look forward to that day, the destruct for the destruction of Babylon. Alright, because we know, you know, we got next, right? We know where we got next, you know. We are gonna rule after these Edomites rule, right? You know, and that was written and, and you know I'll just go for that I'll just go to that precept as my last precept. Alright? The book of um second Ezra chapter six and verse seven. Alright. And the Lord say um and it says um second Ezra six and seven it reads Then answered I and said, What shall be the parting or sunder of the times, or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that follow it? Alright? And he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau. For Esau is the end of the world, right? That's the end of this world when a nuclear blast destroys America and other parts of the world that's supposed to be destroyed. Right? The whole world is not going to be destroyed and heaven is going to be here on earth, right? New Jerusalem is going to be set up right here. Right? For Esau is the end of this world, the end of this kingdom, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Alright, so I'll leave that there. Alright, I hope this lesson has been edifying. Alright, Shri Spirit and Power of Yah, Basham Yah Shai, Basham Rakako Dash. Alright, I say Shalom, you know, Wa Abad Babal.